Hi, my name is Hans Fung. I was born in Hong Kong, went to Canada in 1975 as a student. Um, when I was in university, um, I chose to study education uh, just because when I was in middle school, high school, I wasn't happy uh, with my all my teachers. <laughs> so. <laughs> So I thought, well, maybe I could do a little bit better. So that's how I got into education. Uh, at the end of my university training, um, the Lord has clearly uh, called me to be into full-time ministry. And But I didn't know where I was going, uh, what I needed to do. Um, after university, I went on uh, graduate uh, school training and then later on uh, as a teacher in Saskatchewan. Um, during my first year uh, teaching and my heart uh, start um, uh, moving and uh, remembering what I committed um, to the Lord in full-time ministry. So uh, after first year I went into seminary to prepare for uh, full-time ministries, uh, specifically uh, into mission. Um, and after that, uh, and I still don't know um, where I was going, what I need to do to serve the Lord, but the Lord has clearly uh, showed us we need to serve in the church. And so uh, after we got married, uh, Ruth and I got married after seminary, we, we began our ministry in Edmonton Chinese Alliance Church and as uh, youth and mission pastor. Um, from then on, we really didn't think that, uh, that we will go uh, anywhere uh, to serve the Lord somehow, even though we prepare ourselves for, uh, for missions. Um, but we were settled and just uh, serving the Lord in the church. Uh, but uh, it's a long, put a, uh, Put it short. Uh, put a long story short. Uh, after nine, uh, eight years later, uh, we uh, receive our master in education, and as the uh, mission require, if we want to serve uh, as MK uh, educators, um, somehow um, the Lord has opened doors for us uh, in Malaysia uh, as MK teachers and administrator. Uh, nine years later, uh, after we serve in the church, so. Um, I would just say, summarize that when we obeyed our Lord to serve in the church, somehow God put uh, our desire uh, back and uh, used us uh, in the education uh, uh, and also uh, serving Him full time on a mission field. Right now, um, Ruth and I are uh, living in Kanden, Germany. Um, I would just say that in the heart of Europe, uh, there's a loose uh, school there called Black Forest Academy, uh, where we educate and care for children of international workers, uh, actually who serve in more than 45 countries throughout Europe, Central Asia, Middle East, and Asia, and Africa. We want to provide a quality international Christian education so that these students may be equipped to influence their world through biblical thought character and action. Um, Christian schools have a powerful impact as uh, is evident uh, in South Korea where missionaries a hundred years ago were only allowed to build schools and hospitals. And a quote from Dr. Kim, uh, a headmaster of uh, Central Christian Academy in Seoul, he says, in an environment uh, antagonistic to Christianity, it was the Christian school that took the gospel to scores of young people and trained them with a biblical worldview. Within 25 years of their inception, the Christian schools became the engine of school change and transformation. Because of this huge potential for impact, I am now involved with Teach Beyond, a uh, transformational education service uh, organization. Uh, starting missional Christian schools with the goal of 10 schools in five years in strategic countries. These schools with teachers who modeled and integrate biblical truth with the content are the vehicle to reach the 
developing world, especially in countries where a traditional Christian witness is not allowed. They provide a wonderful opportunity to care for the temporal and eternal welfare of today's students who will be tomorrow's leaders. By partnering with other like-minded organizations, such as Teach Beyond, we seek to train leaders and teachers in national Christian schools, teaching them how to disciple, to integrate biblical truth, to model Christ-likeness for their students. By establishing effective national and international Christian schools, we can use transformational education to reach the children of those of influence. But the work is great, and the invitations to start or partner with schools is many, and we must pray for wisdom and discernment and the Father's will. Like Moses as he met God in the burning booth, God asks us, what is in our hands? We answer, Christian schools. And God asks us to use that as a tool for kingdom purposes. Missional Christian schools seek to nurture students, and as they are transformed, they in turn may transform cultures. The door of opportunity is before us, especially as quality character in English education is sought in creative access countries. We have been challenged with the awesome task of raising up the next generation to be globally minded, Christ-loving and spirit-empowered young leaders who will in turn impact their world for Christ by providing satisfying answers to personal and global problems. That's what I am doing at this moment.